Today, Apple has released the second public version of macOS 15 Sequoia and it's 15.0.1, meaning that if you have a device that's compatible with macOS Sequoia, then you have the ability to update your device to macOS 15.0.1. If you are already on macOS Sequoia betas, which is currently on macOS 15.1, developer beta 5, I believe, then you won't see this update as you are on a higher version and build compared to macOS 15.0.1 so keep that in mind and at the same time there was an issue that I noticed where many users wouldn't be able to see this update so you might need to switch off your developer beta or public beta profile in settings if you were on that and you might need to restart your device in order for you to pull this update over the air. Now in terms of what's new or what this update has to offer the first thing that it fixes is an issue in the Apple messages application that may cause the messages app to quit unexpectedly when replying to a message with a shared Apple watch face and this isn't an issue that was just affecting Mac OS only it was also affecting users that are on the iPhone that have a chart that has a shared watch face. To share a watch face, just press and hold on your watch face. And then if you click on the little share icon right there, it will bring up different options that you have to be able to share. And if you scroll down, you notice there's messages right there. And if you click on the message, you can share it to any person's chat. And if they're not updated to this macOS 15.0.1, sometimes the messages chat would freeze or would cause the whole messages application to just crash or reboot and that has been resolved with this update. Another thing that Apple mentions that this macOS 15.0.1 software fixes is an issue with third-party security software that were sometimes crashing and or were not being able to be opened at the same time they would just quit unexpectedly and according to Apple that has been fixed. I have a few applications of mine that were crashing before the update such as OBS link and that has been resolved and at the same time this is a setting that you might want to check on if you go into your system settings I actually noticed this and you go into your network settings if you go to your firewall setting and you notice that it's off by default after you update to macOS 15 Sequoia the 15.0 version that was in my case I had to go in and activate my firewall I usually set my firewall on but for some reason it had defaulted the firewall to on which would allow all incoming connection and that's not the safest way to go about it so make sure before you update check this setting and after you update just make sure that at least by default Mac OS 15.0 Point one keeps it on this update also provides important bug fixes for your Mac so it's hard to tell what all the bugs that they have resolved if what they are some of them of course had to do with third-party application and compatibility usually after an update in order to make sure I'm current I'm up to date I usually go to the App Store right here and check if I have any applications I downloaded from Mac App Store and then I update them in order to make them current and compatible and some third-party applications downloaded from the web sometimes you might want to go into them and see if they have an update because with Mac OS 15.0.1 users or rather developers have had enough time to be able to develop their application to make them compatible with the new Mac OS update. So you might want to check your other third party software to see if they have any release notes or if they have updates that makes them work more stable with the new Mac OS 15 update. And speaking of security of your Mac, let's look at Mac OS 15.0.1. You can see here on the Apple security releases, these are uh, publicly reported reported CVE entries or common vulnerabilities and exposures page and you can see here for iOS 18.0.1 they mentioned this and you can see when it comes to macOS 15.0.1 it mentions that this has no public CVE entries or common vulnerabilities and exposures entries and this is when it was released but this doesn't mean that this update doesn't have like security patches or um, enhancements when it comes to security in the background sometimes Apple does delay updating this page so 
check back maybe after a couple of days once Apple has given enough a time for users to be able to update and you might see something updated. Another fix that they have introduced with this macOS 15.0.1 is one that has to do with continuity because on the latest iPhones like the iPhone 16 series on iOS 18.0 there was an issue where continuity camera would continuously fail or crash and your camera would basically freeze up if you were trying to connect it to FaceTime like this but at least for now it seems like if you have an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro that issue has been resolved at this point in time and also since Apple released iOS 18.0.1 for all iPhones that support iOS 18 if you're experiencing issues with your iPhone when it comes to typing to be specific I think the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max were the ones that were more susceptible to this issue iOS 18.0.1 fixes that issue and Continuity Camera 2 has been fixed thanks to the Mac OS 15.0.1 and iOS 18.0.1 that has been fixed. And at the same time, the same messages bug that was affecting a lot of charts that had a shared watch face has been resolved as well for the iPhone on iOS 18.0.1. If you're having issues with unlocking your Mac using your Apple Watch, that should now be at least a little bit more stable according to what I've seen online. And just to finish it off, if you are thinking of buying a new Mac right now, just don't because there might be an Apple October event right here and as you can see this is going to be based on Mac and Apple Silicon and some of the things you can expect for example new M4 Macs including M MacBook Pros 14 and 16 inches and there's apparently talks of the base starting RAM to be 16 gigs and higher so just that that will be something that's pretty cool and at the same time a new mac mini with possibly more new ports which is expected and new ipads including an ipad mini and of course more apple intelligence apple intelligence is already on mac os if you are testing mac os on a separate device like mac os 15.1 it has most of the apple intelligence features i've covered it here on the channel feel free to check feel free to check out those videos but expect more apple intelligence at apple's october event that's rumored to be coming but other than that that's how this update is let me know how if you're going to be updating your mac to mac os 15.0.1 my name is ben and i'm signing out